JobKeeper is doing its job and will continue to do its job. JobKeeper will scale down over six months from October, starting at $1,200 for full-time workers and dropping to $1,000 by 2021. The wage subsidy will be extended for three months from September 27 at the higher rate of $1,200 for full-time and $750 for part-time workers. The payment will then drop further to $1,000 for full-time and $650 for people working less than 20 hours a week in the March quarter. Employers and employee will gain easier access to the JobKeeper wage subsidy from the end of September. Businesses will now only have to show a fall in turnover in the quarter to the end of September compared to the same period last year. This is compared to the previous rule requiring employers to show a fall in turnover in the two quarters to the end of September. A crucial change updates the pool of employees who can receive the payment by changing the reference point for their employment. Previously, an eligible employee must have been employed on March 1. This will be changed to July 1, so new staff would be able to receive the payments if business suffers. We are expecting to see fewer businesses on JobKeeper because they're making their way out. And uh, we're looking forward to the time when they won't need it. The coronavirus supplement topping up JobSeeker will be more than halved to $250 a fortnight from October. Laxed income rules will allow JobSeeker recipients to earn up to $300 a fortnight without their payments being impacted. The pre-COVID benefit was $550 per fortnight. This is about ensuring that we move to the next phase. We take the next step. This is the next step in our journey, and it's the step on the journey that is back to keep Australia in a position where we have been able to mitigate, we've been able to prevent the worst of the impacts of this crisis wherever possible.